In our last video, we created a Minecraft character with a texture. In this video, we will give him a rig with boats and also make him animated. So, we can also make multiple animations of him waving and running and also give tips how to put him into a game engine and this is BS series. So, if you want to create a character, go watch the previous video. I will also put a link down in the description below or in next videos, I will show you how to turn this walking, running and waving character into a game engine so you can use it inside of your games. Sounds fun, so let's go! The first thing we are going to do is to create a backup of our character. How do you do that? Very easily. You select your character, then hit Shift D, and this will create a copy. Let's put him somewhere far away. And we can also disable this one if we don't want to see him, just in case something goes wrong. We still have this one. Okay, then we first going to need to add an armature to our character. Here, with numpad 1 in our front view. In object mode, we are going to go Shift A and select an armature. Now, go here to the object data properties, viewport display, and show the bones in front. So, right now, we can see our bone in front. Then, go to edit mode. And with GZ, we're going to grab our bone up here and make it a bit smaller. Hit E to extrude, because we want to extrude it right here. And then we're going to add bones to our arms and our legs. So from here, E to extrude. But I want this part loose of this one. Hit Alt P, clear parent. And now with G, we can grab this again, put it wherever we would like. Then select the bone, Shift T to duplicate, X to duplicate it on the X axis. Then once again, Shift T for the leg. Scale in the Z axis, as set to do that. And Shift T, X to do that here. Now I need to connect this one to my root armature. So to do that, hit this one first, Shift click on this bone, hit Ctrl P, but this time keep offset. So this one is the offset, so you can keep the, dis the distance, but it's still connected. So also do this for this one. Click here, shift click back on the root bone. Control P, keep offset. And also do this for the legs as well. Good, so now we have our bones right here. Now go look it from the side, at number three or seven. It is in place inside of our character, but we would like it. Okay, this seems good in my example. Now, another tip here. This is called Armature. But if you want to export it to a game engine like, say, Unreal Engine, you want to name this something else. For example, Root or something. And this name we can also change, but especially this one is important because in Unreal Engine, this will not work. But with the name Root, it will. Now, we go back to Object Mode. Now, we click next to this because we are going to parent our mesh onto our armature. So first select the mesh and then with shift click on the armature. Now with parenting, control P. And we're going to use armature deform but with automatic weights. Now this seemed like nothing happened, but when I now select only this bones, then I see here pose mode. And now when I rotate something, you can see the mesh rotates with it. And our root just rotates everything. And then you can see that our mesh is applied to our character, to our bones. And this is what we want, because now we can start animating. Great. So, how do we animate? First of all, I'm going to add some little windows, so we can make this a bit easier. Going to drag this one up here. And from this side, I will drag an extra window right here. This one I will set to Dope Sheet and dope sheet to action editor. And this window I will set to nonlinear animation. This is not required, but it gives for me an overview and I think it's pretty neat to have this one right here. So let's create two animations and then you can freely make other animations as you like. First, click here on new. Let's create a first one, let's say run. Now to make animations, we have to work in both tabs here. Hit the shield icon also. Now, when I hit in a certain pose, I can add keyframes. How do I do this? For example, for a running pose, I'm going to do my side view, 3, or Control 3 to go over and from the other side. 
And then let's create a pose with the arms. So with R and rotate, let's do the arms like this. And the leg to the other side. Control 3 to also make him run from the other side. Now this is very basic just to show you how this works. Now with A you select all the bones and with I you can see to insert a keyframe menu. Also make sure you do this in this menu because if my mouse is here it won't work. So in this one I and then location, rotation and scale. And you can see right here there's a little dot. That's a keyframe because this post will be remembered. Now I can select this, Control C to copy. Let's put one right here, Control V. This is the exact same, because when I animate, I want to create a loop. So my beginning and my ending will be looping. Now, at frame 20, which is half of this, we want to do the reverse. Now, there are better ways to do this, but this is the quick and dirty way to do this. Just reverse the pose. And also, from the other side. Reverse the pose. Then, with A and I, location, rotation and scale. Now you can see that he is actually walking or running. Now to make him run faster, you can just drag the points closer together and the animation will be played faster, so he's running faster. But this is basically how this works. Now, on this one here, we need to press this one to push down the action. And let's also name this one Run. Okay, great. So we have one animation, so when I hit the star icon, I can also see him running again. To edit this, it's very easy. Right click to start editing the stashed action, or when you're done, stop editing it. So, to add a new action, because you want to make multiple actions, click new. And let's call this one wave. And also hit the shield icon right here. So, we have to reset its position right now. So, in front view, I select with A everything, and then we're going to Alt-R to reset the rotation. Alt-G, you can also, when you grab something, to reset this, that one, and then you can work again. Okay, let's make a very simple wave animation. So, in my front view, so let's make this a starting position. A, select everything. I, to insert a keyframe here on one. And then location rotation scale copy paste it so we have the same in the beginning and the ending and in the middle of it let's drag this hands a bit taller right here okay a select all the bones i location rotation scale and now when i hit this animation hello you can see him waving great so once again click here double click or f2 to rename it name it wave so now I can work on both these one I wanted again so now he is waving or I can go back to running so I hope you like this tutorial because right now you can add animations as much as you like put them here and in the next video you make sure no, alt r2 uh, rotate it again you can also drag it back if you would like and go back to object modes. Now, in the next video, you will learn how to put this character into a game engine and get your animations right there. So subscribe or like the video if you like the video, and then you will see how that works in the next video. Good, good luck.